testing, testing, one, two, three, just make sure my uh, screen recorder is working here and my microphone is working. Uh, one, two, three, let's start the video. We didn't mean to start that, this is for mess up. Good evening, everybody. It's me, Artist Invader here. Your Invader is nightly news and weather forecast for May, excuse me, through June 3rd, 2020. Be, if you are new to this channel, be sure to hit that bell button and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more weather news content you can depend on. Uh, today's topics we're going to cover is the coronavirus news, uh, COVID-19, and travels from Crystal Ball and the hour uh, the big campeche let's 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 begin with the video with the corner our covid 19 news right now worldwide confirmed cases we're seeing over three million two hundred eighty seven seven hundred seventy one confirmed cases and over three hundred seventy nine non twenty one deaths so far right now the united states still has confirmed cases with over one million eight hundred eighty eight six hundred fifty two confirmed cases and over one hundred eight 596 deaths so far. Uh, we got Brazil, we got some cases, we got Russia, UK, Spain, Italy, India, Germany, Peru, Turkey, Iran, France, Chile, Chile Mexico, Canada, Saudi Arabia, uh, mainland China, and all these are all, all these other countries with a confirmed case and death. Uh, here's the new case over time worldwide. Uh, we see a downturn in cases uh, on June 3rd, over 93,000. 238 confirmed cases, June 3rd, worldwide cases. Uh, cases over time, uh, worldwide, we've seen over 6 million. Uh, we've seen over 90 new confirmed cases, worldwide cases, over time, worldwide. Moving to the United States confirmed cases. Uh, let me just get this up real quick. Uh, well, moving with the United States confirmed cases. It's loading, you guys. It's loading. Just take my time. Come on. Uh, uh, New York State is still not confirmed cases with over 374 85 confirmed cases and over 24,079 deaths so far. Right now, New Jersey, New Jersey is leading hot confirmed cases. Uh, we follow by Illinois, California, Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, Texas, Florida. Michigan, Maryland, Georgia, Virginia, Connecticut, Louisiana, Ohio, all these other states with our confirmed cases and deaths. You can see in this list right here, uh, scrolling down. So I'm gonna pause. You can you can pause the video. See, so you can pause the video. You can pause the video to see your state's confirmed cases and deaths. Uh, cause I don't want to make this video too long because it's just uh stressing me out here with this with all this coronavirus stuff. Just make sure you wash your hands for at least 20 seconds or more. Wear a face mask and social distancing. Practice social distancing because that's the most effective way to stop the coronavirus, according to health experts. Uh, so here's the top news, top news for the United States. You can read it right here. I don't want to explain all of it because I have messed up with my first video, first recording. It's my second recording. Uh, so hope I don't mess this up because it's getting annoying and I don't have a lot of time right now. So, uh, welcome to Invaders Mountain News and Weather Forecast. So, June 2nd, confirmed cases. We have seen 20,073 new, new confirmed cases June 2nd. And new cases over time in the United States. We have seen over 20,000 confirmed cases. Uh, 20,000 20, confirmed cases. And, yeah. Cases over time. And tests conducted. Okay. Uh, tests conducted. Uh, were 403, 791 confirmed cases. I mean, tests conducted over 403, 791 tests conducted in the United States on June 1st. Uh, let's move on with the uh, tropical weather outlook. Uh, National Hurricane Center. Uh, trucks from Cristobal over the. Um, Bay of Campeche has a 10 p.m. CDT advisory number 10 with maximum station sustained winds at 45 miles per hour. It's stationary, that means it's staying in the same spot. It's not moving a lot, not a lot of activity, but this system is still active. Trucks from Crystal Here's the uh, key messages you can pause the video and read. Uh, let me just show you the arrival time of winds with the wind speed probabilities. The earliest re reasonable arrival time winds. Uh, will be between Thursday 
Friday, Saturday, dude, this this system will be moving through. Uh, this will be probably through Thursday, Friday. But it's the timing. This system will be here through Thursday. This this system will be exiting out by Friday, Saturday. This system will be near landfall around Sunday. Just so we so we're gonna say that um this system would be um well this system would make landfall all U.S. landfall probably by this weekend Sunday uh. Uh, okay, uh, Sunday landfall, I mean, Sunday this weekend, Sunday this weekend, uh, Sunday this, okay, I can't talk because I'm messing up because my first video got messed up. It's too hard, you guys. It would make landfall probably by this weekend around Sunday, 8 p.m., 8 a.m., or later, Saturday by 8 p.m. is going to be near around this area, Sunday a.m. is going to be around this, near around this a.m., Near around this area by Sunday 8 a.m. So you can see the system would be more increasing chances for lo the state of Louisiana, uh, parts of Texas, Arkansas, Mississippi. So you can see right here. Most likely arrival time of tropical storm force winds will be probably by Thursday, Thursday 8 p.m., Thursday 8 a.m., Friday 8 p.m., Saturday 8 a.m. Uh, this will be probably by near Sunday 8 p.m. with the most likely arrival time here as it makes landfall off the coast of Louisiana. Chances are increasing up to 20-30%, but chances will really be increasing as the system gets nearer and nearer Louisiana, Texas, Arkansas, Mississippi regions. So you can see this is um, going to be a new draft for the United States uh, as the system makes landfall off the coast of Louisiana. Uh, we don't know how this is going to happen. We don't know what's going to happen with the system because due to all the coronavirus pandemic, this is going to be a problem, but we're going to have to see and work things out. Uh, you can see maximum sustained winds at 45 miles is stationary. That means staying at the same area, and the movement is slow right now as the system moves. So this will move very slowly, but the system expecting to move a west northeastward turn up northeast, bringing more flash flooding rains and damaging winds as the system moves. Uh, Trucks for um, crystal ball will we'll have more maximum sustained winds up to 65 miles as it nears around these areas. This will have a really strong wind with the system as it nears over here. Uh, probably by Saturday, it could have winds up to 65 miles per hour. It's possible due to all the less wind shear and really warm uh, sea surface temperatures. So this is advisory number 10 from the National Hurricane C Center. Uh, with the warnings of surface winds, we do have warnings in effect for the Atlantic. So you can see the system in the Eastern Pacific form here uh, as trucks for Amanda and the system move. Right around uh, over through Mexico, makes more redevelopment and makes second landfall again. So this will this will the since so will make so will make U.S. landfall again. That will be our third landfall with this system. So this system has been going through a really weird, really weird path there. So you can see it's over here making landfall in Mexico right here center as of 10 p.m. CDC has made landfall. Uh, we got truck storm warnings in effect for the Mexican coast. Uh, here is the uh, Spanish version. If you want to read the Spanish uh, key messages, uh, if you read Spanish, you can pause if you don't see it. Uh, here it is. So let's move on with the model models. So that's the most important thing right now is the model. So we got some severe weather going up up here, storms and trucks and crystal ball, clearly visible just south over the Bay of Campeche on the uh, satellite model. Read. Uh, right here is the models of the trucks from crystal ball as the system moves through um, moves through Mexico. This will system will make it um, west north westward turn. It will actually come back redevelopment and will make landfall off the coast of Louisiana. The system will be moving through Louisiana, bring more rain and flash flooding issues, uh, and will be racing down to the east coast and bring more rain as an extra. Extra subtropical system, excuse me, extra tropical system, a remains of crystal ball. So you can see the system will be moving through through um, many states as an extra trop, extra tropical system as the rains moves through. So you can see here's the intensity of this system. It's gonna be really strong, really strong here as the system moves through. So as the system moves through Mexico, you can see the system will be moving through over the Bay of Campeche, making a west northwestward turn. The system will be entering the Gulf of Mexico, then later making landfall into the Louisiana region, then making more um 
and we'll be bringing more rain and all that and bring more flash flooding and wind damage and as it bears down to the east coast so you can see the model runs right there visible so uh let me show you the uh winds real quick hang on second uh here's the uh wind uh with the wind intensity with this system this will be all the winds will be probably on the east side of the system since this has four quadrants and a hurricane we got the uh south 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 hang on forgot it was a south west region this the north west region we got the Northeast region and the uh, southeast region quadrants. So there's four quadrants, which is the southwest quadrant, the northwest quadrant, the um, northeast quadrant, and the uh, southeast quadrant. You can see the the strongest winds will be pr pretty around the uh, east quadrant there. You can see the strongest will be over the Florida Panhandle, but this is the will make landfall off the coast of Louisiana. So we'll be seeing a U.S. landfall. It's possible this system with maximum sustained winds with possibly up to 65 miles per hour as the system moves moves through um, the Gulf of Mexico will be intent will be intensifying with, uh, as it moves through. So we'll be watching real closely uh, wind shears. It's this system. Um, so we're not seeing a lot of wind shears. So this so this system will have possibility of U.S. landfall in the next 48, 24, 48, 50. 58 hours, so I mean, it could be possible you could make landfall in the next 24, 48, 58, 58 hours or so. 24, 48 hours, or 50, 58, 68 hours. We're gonna be watching very closely as the system could make landfall in the next uh 60, 66 hours or so, or the next 72 hours. The system will be near or off the coast of, of Louisiana, the system will be making landfall in the next soon in 96 out in the next 96 hours. We'll be watching closely. The system will be moving towards the off the coast of Louisiana. They will make landfall as the system will make a west northeastward turn, bringing more flash flooding and rain as it pushes through Arkansas, uh, Tennessee, Mississippi, uh, uh, and into Kentucky. The system will will be a, become a depression, then into a, a subtrop, a extra a extra tropical cyclone. Uh, will be the rain remains of the system will cause as it moves through. But yeah, you can see the model runs right here with this system as it moves through the regions and the states. Uh, how much rain we're gonna see with the system? We're probably ex estimating up to uh 10 to 12, 14, 15 inches. When it makes landfall, uh, that's how much rain we're going to see with the system as it moves through. We're expecting 10, 12, 14, 16 inches of landfall, but it's going to be a lot of heavy rain uh, as it moves through because the, the east quadrant is really strong there. According to the GFS models, uh, this could make uh, possibly a lot of heavy rainfall there, but the system will be moving. The system is over here, over Louisiana. This system will bring probably about 1 to 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 10, 12 inches of areas. This system will actually produce four to five inches of rain. The system moves but a lot of heavy rain over parts of Louisiana, Arkansas, Mississippi. The system will be bringing really hot flash flooding and rain as this tropical crystal will be will bring widespread flooding as the system moves through the east coast and will be moving out later on. So we'll be watching closely with the model runs here. And here's the um sea surface temperatures. You clearly need twenty eight degrees Celsius. SSTs and higher and clearly outline 20 degrees SSTs and higher Celsius 28 degrees Celsius SSTs and higher there for redevelopment since this system will have a lot of energy for all this warm uh, so really warm sea surface really warm sea surface temperatures in the Gulf of Mexico so you can see this system will have a great chance um, most likely for landfall off the coast of Louisiana so it's going to be so we got something brewing in the Gulf of Mexico and this will be a great opportunity for this system to make landfall due to less wind shear and really warm sea, sea surface temperatures. This will probably most likely make landfall, U.S. landfall off the coast of Louisiana, uh, probably around this region here, 
in this area just will make landfall. So we'll be watching very closely. And here's the aircraft recon with this system. Uh, there has been an aircraft recon today. There's just not no missions in that past six, six hours. But here's satellite image of Chuckstone Cristobal out in the over the Bay of Campeche. System is really um producing really heavy flash flooding out there. But you can see the system low, the system is over the Bay of Campeche. And according to the auto models we're seeing, the model track guidance this system will be probably making landfall over um will be auto models agreeing to the system to make landfall into Louisiana. So this auto models are agreeing to make landfall over Louisiana. We can see the systems track off the coast of Louisiana between this area. This will actually make a north north west eastward turn and will bring more flash flooding. So we'll be watching very closely with the system. Uh, as the model guides come in, all that stuff. We will have more invaders weather news tomorrow. And this is for Invader Sunday news and weather forecast for June 3rd, 2020. So we'll be watching very closely for the track guidance and you can see this will be a probably a very strong system will make landfall by the sun makes landfall probably by um later on but you can see moles are agreeing to uh probably maybe strong landfall as possible as it moves to state of Louisiana, Arkansas, Tennessee, parts of Tennessee, parts of Mississippi. So you can see the guidance. So we got we we will be watching all the moles very closely see where the system could go. But this one other the green. So the intensity guidance, we're just seeing that this system just could be a trough storm system. But a category one system that's unlikely for now. But not a lot of models agree for into only one model agrees that this system could be a category one system. But the intensity model, this could be only the maximum sustained with up to sixty five miles. That's why all the models are agreeing, but not category one level. So we're going to be watching very closely on Trucks from Crystal Ball as this, as we come in the upcoming days and weeks. We'll be, we have, we'll have all eyes on this system as it moves through, um, as it moves through the United States, uh, across the state, uh, the regions in the United States. You can see, we'll be watching closely as it, in the next upcoming hours or days, as Trucks from Crystal Ball will redevelop in the Gulf of Mexico, will make U.S. landfall possible in the next 96 hours. So you have time to prepare. Uh, more information is coming out from the Invader Travel Center tomorrow. That's all for Invader's Mountain News and Weather Forecast for May, um, excuse me, June 3rd, 2020. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, and join the content. And, join, and be sure to join our Discord server. Our link's in the description above. And follow us on Twitter at invaderdiv 2 rbux Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a fantastic day. This was the Arts and Invader with your invaders not using water and stay safe you guys. That's all for Invaders Weather News coverage. I mean, Invaders Nightly News and Weather coverage for June 3rd, 2020. Thanks for watching Invaders Nightly News and Weather forecast. See you guys in the next video on Invaders Weather, Invaders Weather News. I'm Yard Invader. See you guys later. Bye.